All new at 10, the final step. He was shot twice while protecting others in the Aurora Theater shooting. Joshua Nolan has lived with unrelenting pain in his leg now for more than five years. He's decided it's time to amputate. And now he gives Denver 7 reporter Jacqueline Allen exclusive access to what he calls the final step in this battle against the pain. You're doing great. When I first wake up till I go to bed is a constant reminder of what happened to me. Just relax, you're nice and safe. If I can amputate the leg, then there's one more piece of me that I can finally let go. The tragedy has been done. It's another hurdle in my life that I can finally get over. For the last five years, Joshua Nolan has been on a journey of pain. It started on this day, July 20th, 2012. Shot in the arm and the leg, both nearly blown off. Nearly. Of course, here's my pain meds. Since then, what's left has left him searching for relief. It is just the starting point. Opioids, cannabis oil, injections, acupuncture, anything, everything. From the outside, it looked like it was working. He did CrossFit, ran a marathon. But to him, it was never real. They're great accomplishments, but it's still not really me. And the pain is really there. I just got to the point where I'm tired of all the quote unquote band-aid fixes. I feel that amputating my leg is my final step. And I, I want to I want to go to the final step. Let's take a look at this now. Dr. John Schwapak is the trauma surgeon who saved Josh's leg the night of the shooting. Now he'll be taking it off. At what point do you say it's time to have an amputation? Usually when the patient begs for it, because it's such a, it's such a final event that you really want to make sure it's right for him. The question from doctors and others, has Josh convinced himself that something this drastic is the only way to cope with the trauma? But this is his reality. I'm really thinking of my quality of life now, and amputation seems like the best to improve my quality of life. He had to get opinions from other doctors too, who agreed that at this point, amputation is reasonable. I think for the last four years, we've hoped that the pain would go away, and it simply hasn't. I'm excited, it's time. You know, I want my life to be better. I want my family's life to be better with me. On the morning of his surgery, Josh is nervous. But ready. This is a very special hat for me. Shows that everybody is here is with me. All along this journey, he has never been alone. I want to show people that, you know, even after five years of pain, you know, we still suffer, but we can still push through it regardless. <laughs> it's amazing. Surgery to remove a leg usually takes less than two hours. We have to be really careful because of all the uh, scar tissue in there. Josh's takes a little longer because of massive scarring from the gunshot wound and the nerve found trapped inside. And I think that it's likely the cause of his pain and discomfort, and that was able to be removed. Josh, your hair is sweet. You should just have your surgery, okay? This is his eighth surgery, and every time he wakes up... I'm just having a flashback. He remembers. When I first woke up to the hospital after the shooting, that was actually a lot of pain. I, I'm, I'm not feeling any pain right now. And then this is the moment he sees his leg. Okay, curious. But you have looked actually, but you just I don't did. remember because of the medicine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Even after wanting it for so long. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. It's, it's, it's really gone. <laughs> the shock is normal. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm crying. <laughs> it's done. It's really done. Deep inside, he knows this journey isn't really done but he can take this moment and believe it is. I'm happy now. I'm, I'm really, really happy. <laughs> These are tears of joy. <laughs> that was more than a month ago. Now, not long after that surgery, Josh had complete kidney failure, a rare complication. He almost lost both of his kidneys. Tonight, I can tell you he is out of the hospital, but he has been again on a journey through this pain. And that's why we're doing this story. For survivors of these tragic events, too often, this is a journey that never ends. It just it never such ends. a complicated, oh painful process. Oh, oh, it's it's thinking been unbelievable. unbelievable. Yes, thank you, Jacqueline. We have put Josh's fundraising page information on the DenverChannel.com.